what was what was the atmosphere out there like that? I mean, you've seen two of these, the three now, but two of these before this. Mm -hmm. How, was this one different? Definitely different. Uh, no, start on last year's. Last year's we didn't we I mean we didn't play as a unit. We didn't play as a team. Uh, in 2021, yeah, we had I mean a lot of veterans and all that stuff. I was new to the team. I didn't really understand how how that worked, how chemistry and all that good stuff. I was just out there playing. But uh, you know, this year now that I'm seeing everything uh, unfold before my eyes. You know, just seeing everybody come together as one and knowing that, you know, even though we might get down in the game, you know, the game's still not over, literally and figuratively. You know, we still have to play the next play. So you know, seeing all that stuff come uh, coming to fruition is, is really cool. You you make plays in this game as a true freshman. About Dylan Smith tonight. Yeah, it was big. Uh, you know, he'll he'll have a lot of a uh, he'll have a lot of ladies' numbers in his phone after tonight. But I, I just hope he keeps his head down. You know, keeps working because he has he has a great future. And he's gonna he's gonna run the tables in terms of you know uh, being a great player in the Big Twelve. Is that you speaking from experience about the ladies' numbers in your phones after a big performance? Don't call me on that because my mom reads his articles. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah. <laughs> no, but yes. Okay. <laughs> Xavier seemed to he seemed to be banged up at times and just kind of kept grinding through it. What was it like watching him? He's a we call him insurance all state. Uh, he's always he's always there when you need him. Um, and I call him old man like I did Brock last year. You know how his body's just you know he just lays it all that. Josiah Johnson's like that too on offense. He's team. Um, but yeah, Zay he's a he's a dog man. I, I always told him. You know, you, you have certain games where you know you, you may not, it may not feel like you're doing anything to help the team out. And um, you know, I told him every every week leading up to this one that he's going to have one game where he's going to scoop. And this was that one game for him. Uh, then I feel like the sky's the limit as well for, for the rest of the year. He's going to he's going to you know continue to do that. If teams want to test him like they did today. That's what's going to happen, and they're going to realize that real soon. What was it like seeing Trace at the coin toss? Yeah, it was, it was pretty weird. Uh, I dapped him up. I kept smiling at him. He kept smiling back. Uh, we just have that type of relationship, but. Uh, I told him when I dabbed him, I told him, you know, let, let's let's put on the show. Um, you know, we went out there and did that because this was a great game. So, no, nah, it was pretty weird and pretty cool. Though. I met him up after the uh, after the game as well, you know. I talked to him a little bit, so chatted up. But, yeah. So, you know how that goes. It was weird, but it was cool. You find him on the field? <coughs> no, okay. no, nah, I did not find him. No. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, okay. I did. After the game. After yeah, the game. Yeah. I thought you meant during. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. After the game, I, I, yeah, I found him on the field. Uh, high five him on that good stuff. So. That, that couldn't have been easy. They got on the field pretty quick. <laughs> they did, but they were, you know, they were lingering around. They didn't get off as fast as they did uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, they were lingering around. So I caught up with, I really just caught up with Trace and a couple of their coaches and just said, "Hey, Tim, you know how that goes."